So as we know, recently the AMD RX Vega cards have shot up in prices. And, you know, it's that's a little bit of an understatement. It's Their, their prices have kind of gone all over the place. Mainly YouTubers, or, you know, a lot of the people that go out and do the same kind of stuff I do, they talk about news and stuff, they claim that it's due to, you know, urethium miners buying all the cards up and, you know, making it super expensive. And there is some truth in this, but... You know, I like to give you guys the other half or other more parts of the story instead of just giving you the default. Hey, the reason why you know all these issues is just because of this one reason. Because it's not. And you know, if you're gonna be the the person that gives you give your subscribers or your your viewers the same default answer than everybody else's, there's no point. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. There's other reasons, and I'm gonna go over them today. And you know, g giving you guys the default. Reason, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably already know this. You're probably watching this to find out something. And I mean, if you guys, if you appreciate getting something other than the default bunch of crap that's on the on YouTube right now, then like the video after you get done. And tell me if I did a good job on this. So I did a lot of research on this, and I hope you guys will be able to understand it and enjoy it. it took me a while to make this video, so let's get into it. So I'm going to put it into one sentence and then I'm going to elaborate like my one sentence. I know this is one of the issues. There's probably like four or five. So the first being the urethium, but the second issue is what I'm going to make this video about. And simply because the AMD Vega RX cards at launch had deals that allowed them to reach the $500 price tag. I know there's other cards and I'm just individually focusing on the one. I think it's the 54 um, AMD RX, R, R, Vega RX. Um, 54 is the card that I'm referring to here, but they allowed them to reach the $500 price tag, and this goes for this um, 64 as well. Now the deals are no longer valid, and which means they kind of expire, and that means the cards go up to their actual prices. Yep, one sentence explains the main issue. Also keep in mind that that word main there all that there are also other issues, such as the extreme shortages in the card related to the urethane miners that other people have done a really good job on and I'm not gonna make this video about that because you know I won't bring something else to the table but to explain this basically at the release RX Vega cards had a whole bunch of deals that made them much cheaper they included games launch deals a long list that have now expired and now you're probably sitting here going well you know why didn't AMD tell us when they were doing their fancy showcases and telling us all these cool prices and you know telling us how they have so much in stock and you know how much how they have so much you know cards ready to go and urethium miners aren't going to be a problem well i personally think that they just want to drive up the hype uh and then get an you know make sure that you know they they kind of had the prices at the beginning just to convince everybody it was a good deal and now that you know the cards are completely sold out you know amd actually did promise that they had enough cards for gamers and you know the urethium miners and uh, Amazon and all of them didn't even get to post it, uh, I don't believe so, on their website before it completely sold out. So I mean these cards are absolutely, you know, they, they sold out super fast, which kind of just, just debunks the whole issue with AMD saying that. But you know, for right now, for the foreseeable future, we're going to be stuck with, you know, $100 to $200 more than they're actually worth, uh, simply just because the deals that were, you know, we, we, we originally saw. Are no longer there so we're gonna be stuck with that for the foreseeable, good foreseeable future which obviously does not you know sound fun for anybody that was you know looking out and I'm gonna give you guys my my two cents honestly I feel like <clears throat> you know you're, you're sitting here and some of these people are you know we're really hype about this and then you know first of all the cards are completely like you can't find anything uh, you know for this actual price it's worth and I just feel like AMD was really like let everybody down in the situation because all they did was they got everybody hyped up, convinced you know, hey, we have enough cards for everybody. Urethium miners aren't going to be a problem because we have these cool deals. And now number one, the deals are all gone. Prices are high, and you know all the stuff that AMD kind of told us that wouldn't happen happened. So um, if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Check out my channel. I do kind of news talks like this, a whole bunch of cool experiments with computers and stuff. So check it out. And of course, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys next time.